What's up guys, Diptesh here back with another video. So a lot of you guys are looking forward to purchase a good budget gaming laptop in the upcoming sales. However, you guys are quite confused on whether or not you have to stretch your budget to get a 1650 Ti or not. Because the 1650 Ti laptops are almost at an average 10,000 to 15,000 rupees more expensive compared to the 1650 laptops. And also overall how the 1650 and the 1650 Ti perform in games. So I have already made a video showing how the 1650Ti is not a major upgrade over the 1650 and why you shouldn't spend too much for a 1650Ti unless the laptop itself comes with other upgrades. Instead upgrading to a 1660Ti makes more sense. I compared the 1650, 1650Ti and 1660Ti across quite a few games where I used benchmark data from Notebook Check website, however quite a few guys didn't believe me. I'm sorry guys but my channel is not big enough to be able to receive uh, you know review units or be able to purchase laptops for testing anyways recently our favorite laptop reviewer jared from jared's tech benchmarked the most demanded acer nitro 5 ryzen 5 4600 h with gtx 1650 and the ideapad gaming 3 ryzen 5 4600 h with 1650 ti across several games yes even though it's not exactly an apples to apples comparison but it still gives us a good idea on how the 1650 and the 1650 ti differ when paired with the exact same cpu and ram configuration so for the convenience of my viewers i took permission from jared to combine the data from the two laptops and put it in one video to see the difference between the two gpus so thank you jared for allowing me to use your data so in this video, I'll show you the benchmark numbers and then I'll give you a very important conclusion that you must listen. And before showing the benchmark numbers, I want to let you know that both the laptops were tested with dual channel 16GB RAM to show the absolute performance of the system and there was no thermal throttling in either of the systems. So without any further ado, let's get to the benchmarks.
So paired with the Ryzen 5 4600H and 16GB of dual channel RAM, the 1650Ti gets around 2-4 FPS more than the 1650 paired with the same configuration. But here's the thing in India, most budget laptops don't come with dual channel RAM, which is very important factor with Ryzen. So for example, the HP Pavilion 1024AX model comes with a 60Hz 1080p IPS panel, Ryzen 5 4600H, NVIDIA GTX 1650, single channel 8GB RAM, 1TB 5400RPM hard drive. It was released at 60,000 rupees on Amazon Prime Day and it also dropped to 57,500 for a while. And then you also think about the HP Pavilion 1051AX model which gives the same specs but with an upgraded 144Hz 1080p IPS panel, GTX 1650Ti and instead of a hard drive it comes with 512GB of SSD. This was released at 71,000 on Amazon Prime Day. Now here's my take on the situation. For games, 1051AX model doesn't have enough space and the 1024AX model doesn't come with an SSD for fast Windows performance. So here's what I would do, get an extra 8GB 3200MHz RAM for dual channel performance for about 4000 rupees and an extra 240GB M.2 SATA SSD for your boot drive and frequently used softwares. Trust me guys, I being a very heavy user have been using 120GB M.2 SATA SSD for my boot drive and some frequently used apps for almost 2 years. So 240GB M.2 SATA SSD would be plenty for you. Now for a total of 66,490 rupees, you have better performance in games as well as in productivity applications due to dual channel RAM compared to the stock 1650Ti model of the HP Pavilion. Yes, depending on the type of games you play and how flexible your budget is, ask yourself how important the 144Hz display is for you. For me, it's not that important. But if you need that 144Hz panel, you have no other choice other than increasing your budget. Same thing applies when you compare the Pavilion to the IdeaPad Gaming 3, which does not come with dual channel RAM like the one Jared reviewed, nor does it have high refresh rate screen. Once again, same thing applies to the Nitro 5 Ryzen 7 4800H model also, compared to the Omen Ryzen 7 4800H model. With dual channel RAM, performance will be better with the Nitro at almost the same price. You also get more storage options and more battery life with the Nitro. So that's it, I hope I solved your dilemma of whether you should stretch your budget to fit a 1650Ti and how important RAM is. So yeah, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more videos, join the discord server, we have nearly 700 members now. Alright guys, I am Diptesh and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.